experiential learning theory if we talk simply about learning we are trying to understand the core of management process where we say learning is holistically the basic process of human adaptation as we move higher we learn and that is how we adopt ourselves to our surrounding and experiential learning says that our learning is obtained through our experiences the more we experience the better we learn now what all are included under the elt theory or the experiential learning theory is first the entrepreneurial Uh, learning if you want to be an entrepreneur what kind of learning is being required the next is the strategy formulation what is strategies you would require the third is creativity the fourth is problem solving the next is decision making and the last is leadership quality so all these things are part of the experiential learning theory and this theory was propounded by numerous scholars some of the important ones were john dewey we had thomas kuhn krut lewitt uh, kolb as some of the major persons who focused on experience as an integral part of learning and this is applicable not only in the formal learning learning but also in all walks of life so if we focus on the propositions of the experiential learning theory there are six basic propositions on which it is based the first says that learning is best conceived as a process and not as an outcome so whenever we are focusing on learning our idea is to improve the process of learning not the outcomes in terms of the numbers attained and therefore the focus is basically the process the next is all learning is relearning you study force in class 6 you come back to the same topic in class 8 then you might come back to the same topic in class 10 and again in 12 that means all learning is relearning you constantly learn it with new and more defined ideas the basic framework you had studied in your primary classes now as you move higher you are relearning the integrate concepts of those the next is learning requires a idea to resolve the conflicts this is something which is very very important because more often we see uh, there is opposite mode of adaptation in the world and we swing back and forth between those and therefore if we are able to resolve the conflicts we say learning has been successful it is a process of adaptation as we had already talked in the very beginning of this section uh, section the next is it results from the transactions that appear between an individual and the environment and it is also a process of creating a knowledge a new knowledge whereby social uh, basis could be further defined so the kolb's learning style index the klsi as we call as has been given under the following diagram so there are two elements which are based on the very basis of grasping the experiences and those are concrete experiences and abstract concepts however we do have the transformations that occur in it and those are the reflective observations and active experimentations experimentations and observations are part of the transformations that happen now this concrete experience to uh, the observation so we say the first stage is experiencing at the very first you try to experience you go to a new place a new region you experience the surrounding then there is a reflection you understand you assimilate it and finally you think about it and based on the thought you act and this is how you have the learning process that is attained now all of these four elements have been very very important as it starts with concrete experiences what would happen as an immediate action 
between the concrete experience and the reflective observation there is diverging style now what is diverging style diverging style says that you try to understand uh, have an imaginative idea about the various cultures the various styles the various interests and you brainstorm ideas based on the brainstorming of the ideas you are open to listen to each and everything that passes by and based on it there is personalized feedback i go to the state of meghalaya i know the art and the culture of meghalaya i go to the state of arunachal pradesh i know the art and the culture of arunachal pradesh so with a open mind i am assimilating i am trying to get all the information all the diverse forms and get a personalized feedback later between the stage of reflective observation and abstract conceptualization we have assimilation assimilation is the state where we are trying to understand whatever information has come to us so whatever art and dance forms we have seen across the various states of northeast india for example we are trying to assimilate those so this assimilation is mainly seen in uh your formal learning in the form of lecture notes in the form of uh, time to think time to uh, grasp the concepts that have been explained or uh, time to explore certain concepts so that is assimilation between this abstract concept that has been formed and the active experimentation that occurs we understand the phase as converging now converging phase is important converging phase is where practical ideas are integrated with theory concepts and problem solving and decision making becomes a priority at this stage so through convergence we are trying to integrate practical and theory views we are also focusing on problem solving decision making a good example in formal uh, education system would be experimental uh, learning learning through laboratories learning for practical uh, work or project work finally between the active experimentation and concrete experience we have accommodation or accommodating style and this talks about field work setting the goals uh, having an approach towards the project and trying to focus on the future plans that could be uh, explained on the basis of the hands on experiences so this is where we have the goals learning cycle the cycle itself is very very important to understand under the experiential theory however this experiential theory further has a deep learning now deep learning is where we focus on complexities we already have the four elements the experience the reflective observation the abstract concepts and the active experimentation all of these four at the very basic state is the state of acquisition where from birth to adolescence you are understanding the basic abilities and developing cognitive structure the next is specialization which is the part of formal schooling process and finally integration where we have a force that comes into play and non dominant mode of learning comes into action where real application of what you have learned takes place so this is integration so the three stages or the process of development with increasing complexities we would say is acquisition specialization and finally integration of the knowledge now this development process when we say there is experience concrete experience the concrete experience is based on affective complexity the reflective observation is based on perceptual complexity the abstract conceptualization is based on symbolic complexity and finally the active experimentation is based on behavioral complexities so all these four complexities together are forming the process of learning or enhancing the process of learning as already said we first of all experience then there is reflection finally thinking and acting if the first two 
that is experience and reflection are into play we call this as registrative so we are registering what has been explained to us through these two steps experiencing and reflecting if there are three of these the experience reflection and thinking we call it interpretative where interpretations could be done and further knowledge could be explained finally if all four of those are involved this is what is called as a integrative learning so again the three components of deep learning are registrative interpretative and integrative registrative involves only two bases interpretative three bases and integrative all the four bases of learning so that was about the experiential learning theory we would be covering many more interesting lectures for you stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead